me share real quick here. Here we go. Let me share real fast. This thing never does the same thing twice. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm just sharing uh, to the mobile manicures. Give me just a second. We're a few minutes early anyway. So let me do that. Okie dokie. And there we go. Hi, Maria. How are you? Hi, Teresa. All right, give it just a second here. And let me get back over here. We gotta get all of our ducks in a row. <laughs> okay, and International Nail Art Academy. There we go. Okie dokie. Here you go. I got you copied already. This thing thinks it's one o'clock in Spain right now. It's one o'clock a.m. Oh, honey. Hi, Sunny. How are you? It's one a.m. in Spain, honey, and you have stayed up to watch. Lols has musky. This light is blinding me. My, uh... My stand is not as high. I feel like I'm down like this looking at y'all. Hi, Michelle. Thank you. It, I didn't do nothing to my natural curls today because I just didn't feel like it. And it's hot and humid. And the more I do to them, like, the bigger they get. So, anyway, thanks for joining us, Michelle. Let me see who else is here. Let's give some shout-outs. If you don't mind, hit your share button. This is going to be a fabuloso tutorial. Um... Keith, you can go ahead and post the link. Um, we've kind of made it really easy tonight. We've, we've put everything in a bundle, but we have everything individually as well, and it's all under the one link. So hopefully that'll make it easier if, you are, uh, if you're looking for something to do this tutorial with. Let's see who else do we have. Hi, Kathy. Let's do some shout outs. Hi, Cheryl. Good morning from Australia. Uh, let's see who else we have. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Hey, Linda. Uh, hey, Kathy. Hey, Jennifer. Thanks for being here. Shannon, long time no see, girl. We still got to have our virtual coffee. <laughs> hey, oh, Myra, you rushed through grocery shopping so you could be here. That's a trooper, girl. Nail art's more important than groceries, aren't they? <laughs> oh, goodness. Hi, Betty. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Hi, Teresa. Hey, Cindy. You love my curls today. Thank you, dear. Hi, Penny. How are you? Who else do we have? Hey, Melanie. I'm trying to see y'all. Hi, Lynn. How are you? Hey, Nancy. How's my friend? Hey, Cindy. Hey, y'all, we got one seat left in the Press on Nail Boot Camp for August. It's the weekend of, uh, it's 18th, 19th, and 20th of August. One seat. One. I know somebody wants that one seat. Raise your hand if you've been on the fence about coming to this class. Child, it's going to sell out and leave you behind. <laughs> we want you here. Lisa <coughs> from the UK is here. Hi, Lisa. How are you? You love my hair, Betty? Uh, Y'all know what kind of hair Miss Tracy got, right? Child, I got kind hair. Kind of grows on the back of a donkey hair. Yeah. Thank you, though, Betty. 
Let me get a drink of my sparkling water. I found this little thing at Ross. I didn't know what it was when I bought it, but it holds your can and it keeps your, um, whatever you want to put in here, it keeps it cold for like six hours. I love it, honey. I will only drink carb anything carbonated out of a can. You would love to come, but you had to buy a new washer. Oh, Jesus. We had to do that last year, a washer and a dryer. They both went out at the same time. Uh, so, yeah, we had to do the same thing. <clears throat> Thanks for being here. And hi, Kelly. Is there a Ross close? Yes, honey. A Ross, a TJ Maxx, and Home Goods is opening here. I don't know when Home Goods opening. Do you? But she coming, honey. I, I'm gonna be in. I'm gonna be in trouble. And this wasn't very much, Kelly. Oh, I done took the sticker off. I think it was like seven or eight dollars. I love it. Hi, Gail. How are you? Hey, Crystal. I saw Crystal put in an order earlier today. Some of y'all uh, saw when I put this online earlier before I could even get the bundle posted. Some of y'all were shopping. I don't exactly know how that works. I think Facebook sends out a notification. Ross is not there. You would love to come breaking the bank in your store. Cindy, if you can ever get to a class uh, especially a sold out class here, you would be surprised uh, your seal level would take uh, a leap and a bound and a jump because that's just the way it is. The energy is really high in at headquarters when we have sold out classes. It, it's a wonderful experience, really. Uh, so you should try to come in person sometime. We would love to have you. And Press on Hill Boot Camp will be perfect. The uh, And then in September, I'm in Massachusetts. I'm doing the fun and fancy nail event. I'm teaching there. Uh, October, I am teaching someplace in South Carolina. And I have a week's vacation in October. Thank you, Gail. I appreciate it. Uh, and then no more classes until the New Year's Eve nail retreat. We got just a few minutes here. New Year's Eve nail retreat, you guys, has a wait list of 42 people. And I only have 10 seats in my classroom. So I am looking at an off-campus uh, ballroom, but still would only seat 20. Um, I cannot, I can't manage more than 20 uh, students in a classroom. I feel like it gets too big and then you don't learn as well. I've had that experience before. So I'm trying to keep it 20 or less. So when that registration opens up for New Year's Eve nail retreat, either you want to come or you don't, and she going to be gone, honey. She is going to sell out, literally. Um, will I ever come to Miami? Uh, it just depends, Nora, if I have uh, a class to teach there or um, it would just depend. And when does that go up, Maria? It will be on the website, uh, I believe, about August 15. Sunny was in the last year's New Year's Eve now retreat. Maria was in the last New Year's Eve now retreat. Um, so, yeah. So that will be coming up fairly shortly. You can register for that. And that was a really good retreat. You've been waiting for 7 p.m.? Good. Is it 7? Oh, it's two minutes after. Let me quit talking. Okay. You guys, tonight we're doing um, Northern Lights. And uh, I guess the best way for me to do this is just get this camera turned around so I can show you what we're going to be doing, but this is one of those tutorials. Child, you got to put your hand on a Bible and say, I'm going to do this like Miss Tracy told me to do it. Can, will you, let me see your hands because if you don't, this is not going to work. A, a lot of companies have pulled um, liquid crystal out of their nail art supplies because people get it and they think they know how to use it and they go to town with it and then the nails are unsuccessful because they didn't even follow the directions. I went to great lengths today to write directions on the website. I put <clears throat> liquid crystal, I put their directions, then I put my directions on how to make this successful, then down below my directions, 
I wrote some troubleshooting that, you know, what to do if this happened or this or this. So I want to see a hand that you are going to follow the directions that Miss Tracy gives you so we can keep this on our website. Uh, Cause we, I love this product and I have worn it as long as five weeks before. If you will do it like Miss Tracy tells you to do it, you will be successful with this. And nobody, nobody has mood ring substance nails um, that really look like anything, all right? Uh, if you are working behind the chair, you need to allow about 30 extra minutes uh, in your uh, service time to uh, just for dry time for this, okay? So you add that into the, the service time and you add it into the cost. If you're doing press on nails, you can get this on there and then maybe let it, you can walk away from it and come back to it later. You promise? Y'all put your hand on the Bible and say, yes, Miss Tracy, I will. <laughs> okay, so here we go, TGO. Let me get my, um, my video stand moved down just a little bit. Cindy says, does it ever expire? Does it ever expire? Nope, it does not. Let's get you in here. I'm gonna make you a little dizzy probably. And turn you around. And let me just adjust my lighting real quick before we go any further because uh, I want my light uh, to be practically perfect when we're looking at this tonight. So give me just a sec. We're gonna do that and then we're going to do one more here. And let me go over here and touch this one. It's hard for me to touch these little icons on the bottom of my screen to adjust once I put it in this holder. Let's see here, is this too bright? No, that's exactly where I want it, right there. All right, boo-boos, are y'all ready? In tonight's bundle, tonight's bundle, let me make sure I got my camera adjusted exactly right and get my lights here. You get one 10 gram jar of solar dust. This is from solardust.com liquid crystal. This is the 12 color formula, piriform. This is highly colorful, all right? On the back of here are some instructions for that, but what I really want you to do is follow the instructions that are on the website underneath this product. You're gonna get your uh, liquid crystal because we're gonna do these Northern Lights nails. Now look, I've got these things sitting on a, uh, this right here. This is a freezer pack and I got them sitting on here chilling them down so I can show you uh, the color change in it. They're rather warm in my office. You're gonna get this. You're going to get the three stamping inks I'm gonna use, which is black, midnight rendezvous, and denim. All these are what I've made the mountains with, um, or the trees. You're also gonna get the nail tips I'm using, the whole box of soft gel, long coffin slash ballerina. <clears throat> you get your choice of a matte top coat or a shiny top coat. Now you're gonna need both. So I guess whichever one you run and low on or whichever one you we have left is the one you grab. You choose which one you want. Then you're also gonna get the stamping plate I'm using which is called uh, Adventure Awaits. And we need that for this right here and for our uh, trees right in this area. All right. And that comes all in the kit tonight for $105. Liquid um, crystal is expensive. This little thing right here. Y'all remember a long time ago when uh, color TVs first came out? How many of y'all are that old? Liquid crystal is what was inside your TV to uh, make it go color or a form of it, okay? This is mood ring paint is what this is. All right, so now let's bring in these nails I've had sitting here chilling. Keith is posting the link. Everything I showed you is also available uh, open stock. Did you get the small one or the large one? That's for airbrush. The small what, honey? I think the liquid crystal. You get a 10 gram jar of liquid crystal. A 10 gram jar 
if you get a smaller container than this, if yours is, if you have one of these and it's smaller, then you don't have the 12 color of liquid crystal. It comes in six color and 12 color. This is the 12 color. All right, 10 grams, pure form. All right, here we go, GGO. I want to show you the insane color shift on this. I got my little hair dryer stick right here. Y'all ready? Watch what happens. I'm going to start to heat this up because I have pulled it off of that um, cold pack. Liquid crystal is temperature sensitive. Let me move that heat gun away now so we can watch it start to turn there. Oh, honey! Honey, this puts the gorge in us. Look. You're going to get pink. You're going to get purple. You're going to get cinnamon. Peacock blue, royal blue, green. All 12 color shifts in between. Look at that. Let's give it just a little more because I do have it rather cold. Look at this. Now, if you are wearing this yourself or if you're going to put this on a client and maybe after four or five days their nails aren't turning anymore, it's because it's summertime right now for one thing. Um, all you do to reactivate your mood ring paint is stick your fingers in some ice cold water two or three times and that takes the temperature back down and reactivates uh, the paint so it will start to turn colors again. Yes, it is going to depend on uh, the temperature of your nails, the temperature outside. Are you driving in the sun? Is your hand sitting in front of the air conditioner vent? All of that plays a huge role on how these colors turn. All right. Now, this is what I asked you to do in the beginning. You got to put your hand on the Bible, honey, and say you're going to use this like Miss Tracy is teaching you to use it. Let's get these out of the way and get into our uh, liquid crystal here. And by the way, these are still pretty cold, so they'll continue to turn and change color um, throughout our video. Yeah, it's just like wearing a mood, mood ring on your nails. All right, first and foremost, we're going to start out <clears throat> with a nail tip. This is how we apply the liquid crystal. Let's get that out of the way first, and then I'll teach you how to do the nail art. Does that sound okay? Y'all with me? Yes, we are, Miss Tracy. We're with you. Here we go, GGO. Let me take the little point off that tip. Now we are um, we included these milky ballerina shaped tips in your um in your kit tonight. Let me just get that on there. We're going to use some no buff. This is Miss Tracy's product. And this keeps us from having to buff the surface of this nail. If we put this down, this will hold our gel polish, our base coat, our gel polish, whatever we're putting on first. This will hold it and you won't have to buff it and have that dust air wear. Nancy, you with me? Okay, I am letting that dry. <clears throat> okay, let's put down a base coat. First rule when you're using liquid crystal, it has to go over black, period, period. You cannot put this over any other color and expect to get the 12 color range off of it. So that's the first rule. Second rule is this cannot go over natural nails. Don't you dare put this on just regular nail polish or someone that wears gel polish only. It has to sit on an enhancement. Okay, and the reason why is if the nail is too flexible, the seal is broken and that top coat will come right off of your uh, mood ring paint. You've got to have an enhancement underneath it. We recommend rubber base. You put, you got to have your rubber base to seal this up with anyway. So we're going to recommend you do a nice hardy base coat 
of uh of rubber base and that way then the nail look that's all I have on is rubber base and my nail is not flexible at all it's non bendy non bendable so there's our base coat we're going to use number two back to black and we're going to get this black on here now this is not gel you guys this is paint. Somebody asked me, Miss Trace, how long do you cure this mood ring paint for? You don't, boo. This is paint. It has to air dry. And it takes a little while to air dry. That's why I want you to build in uh, extra time in your service to allow for the air dry. Y'all with me on that? Okie dokie. We will answer any questions uh, pertaining to the tutorial tonight, just so we don't get off focus here. Look at that black. She covered in one coat, honey. Asking what the bundle is called. The bundle is Northern Lights. Northern Lights. Uh, Keith is actually posting the link, you guys, and that will not only bring up the bundle, it brings up all the individuals for you, too. Okay. Uh, dry naturally or speed with vent, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can do either, but I can tell you this, it's going to be about 15 minutes before this is dry enough for you to work with. So, yeah, you plan that into your service. All right, that black nail is in the lamp. So, first rule is, has to have an enhancement. Second rule is, it's got to go over black. And third rule is... This cannot sit on a tacky layer, tacky surface. We're going to take this matte top gel and we're going to matte this black nail before we even start working with this. She loves to sit on matte, honey. So here's our matte and you put a nice, healthy, schmoozy layer of matte on here. Like this one? Uh, which brand is it? Is it uh, Profiles brand of Mood Magic? If so, yes. If you have Mood Magic, you can use it like this. Something on my nail. A piece of fuzz. I hate that. All right, in she goes. Make sure you have a really nice matte top coat. And you guys, this will ruin your brush. So uh, you need a little container of water nearby that as soon as you use this, you'll want to clean out your brush. Because once it dries in your brush, you can't get it out. It's like it eats up your bristles. Not eats it up, makes it uh, really stiff. It'll stiffen up those bristles and you won't be able to work with it. I am a fuzz magnet, honey. So what I do is I take my water bottle now, this is not my bottle I'm drinking out of. This is my one that I wash my brush with. And I just put me a tiny bit right there in the top. And I'll set that over here to the side. And I can see my black fuzz has cured into my nail here. I'm gonna brush a little bit more matte top coat on that one area there that that fuzz cured into. I thought I had it all out. But again, I'm looking through a camera. So forgive me for that. Okay, in we go. Now, when you uh, get your liquid crystal, nails be applied to your natural nails with rubber base before this process. If what, love? Could those cool nails be applied to natural nails with rubber oh, base? Oh, yes, Karen. Absolutely. Absolutely. We would recommend that. When you get your liquid crystal, stir her up. 
Child, I love to smell this stuff. I don't know what's in it. You know it's good if it says crystal and liquid, right? Stir it up because that can settle and um, your little mood ring won't be as bright if you don't give that a stir. You want to store this also. I would recommend storing this in a drawer, someplace dark. Don't set this on your shelf somewhere. Remember, it's thermal. So if, if it's sitting in a place where the sun comes in or something like that, you just don't have a no, honey. You put this in a dark drawer, okay? Okay, Miss Tracy. Now let's take a little alcohol. And we are going to wipe this black nail down. That, that matte top coat does not have a tacky layer to it. But we don't want there to be a resemblance of anything on there. And right there's my fuzzy I cured into that. I don't know if y'all can see it. And here goes the first layer of liquid crystal. Where are my nails? Hold them. Gloria says, does the Nobop come with the, with the uh, bundle? It does not, Gloria. That is separate, love. If you would just search no buff. All right, the main ingredient, the main key for making this successful is all these things that we're talking about, but you cannot put this product to the edge. I don't care who tells you what, if you take this liquid crystal all the way to these edges, she gonna peel off. I can promise you that. So when you put this on, here's how you do it. You almost go to the edge, but not quite. Can y'all see what Miss Tracy's doing? Look, 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 look. You know why we're not going to put that to the edge is because we need our gel that we're going to put on to seal all of this up. And if this liquid crystal is not all the way to the edge and we seal it up in our gel, she has no choice but to stay on there, honey. She trapped. She is trapped. You see this little flat brush I'm putting that on with? So you just lightly give that a little stroke. And she's supposed to look tan like this. And in about eight minutes, that is going to dry and look like this. That's how it dries. Okay. And after eight minutes, when it looks like that, you're going to put on a second coat of liquid crystal. A second coat of liquid crystal will look like this. There's first coat. And look, she's already temperature sensitive because I'm putting my finger on there. But the, at this point, this nail is very slickery. So you just follow that same area where you put the first coat down, you put the second coat down. And you let this dry another eight, 10, 12 more minutes. You're gonna have about probably 20 to 25 minutes of dry time. You see how she changed and she looks all muddy again? Okay, so you just set that aside. Now, all of these nails have had two coats of liquid crystal. And we're gonna wash out our brush. If you let this harden in this brush between uh, your, your layers of liquid crystal, you're gonna have to throw your brush away. So clean it out like right away. Now, boo. And that's all we need our liquid crystal for. This will last you such a long time and be like just exponentially beautiful. I use this for a lot of artwork too. Now that we uh, were able to get this product back on our website, I'll try to do some tutorials to show you guys for artwork as well. All right. So here are the three nails that have two coats of liquid crystal on it. It looks kind of funny right now because we've not uh, sealed this up in anything. Next step. Are y'all writing this down? Jan says, what brush is that that you used? 
Uh, it's just a flat gel brush, Janice. I don't think we have any of them, but anything that looks like that. Clear rubber base. We cannot top coat over this nail because she's all slickery. If you top coat this at this point, that top coat's gonna peel right off of there. We Rubber base has got a primer in it. It's super sticky. There's not hardly a surface that it won't stick to. So here we go, GGO. Now that this is dry, now look, I did these earlier because I didn't wanna sit here 30 minutes and have y'all watch this dry. Are you with me? And we will save this video to YouTube also so you guys can, um, we'll post the link where you can go back and rewatch it. So here we go, clear rubber base. Now watch, watch, watch what happens. She immediately starts to change and look do you see how i'm sealing all of that up i'm putting a nice schmoozy layer on here you make sure that you cover all of this don't you leave anything if this is on a human obviously you're going to go you know around the cuticle the sidewall area but the free edge right here you really want to pay close attention to that and make sure you get all of that sealed up that's why i don't want you to take your product to the edges look this is tried and true i have worn this probably three years now in my nails and as long as I put it on like this, I don't have any issue with it. Now we're gonna inspect that. Make sure we got it everywhere. That one goes in the lamp. Let's get this rubber base on all of them. Look, it's gonna look kind of streaky and brownish and yucky until you start getting your layers on. And once this goes on, you kind of see everything start to change. Uh, I would not uh, because it's thermal and you're putting heat on it, which is going to make it less colorful on your client. Remember, because of body heat, sometimes if the color um, dissipates, they have to reactivate it in ice water. I, I, I will use a fan, but not a hair dryer. If you have a little fan on your station, that would be fine. So now we look, we inspect, we make sure. Nancy says, so it doesn't have to be on a tip, a full color? It doesn't what? It doesn't have to be on a tip, full color tip, as long as you use rubber base first. I think you said it had to be. No, it has to be over an enhancement of some sort, which would be rubber base, but not like a thin base coat. If that nail is even the little bit at least a bit flexible this product will not stay on it needs an enhancement uh, so the nails not bendy so yes you can put it on a natural nail as long as your half builder in a bottle on or you do your rubber base thick enough um, where there's no flexibility in the nail I can go over acrylic hard gel remember this NSI rubber base is part builder in a bottle and part rubber base. And I'm just really taking care here to make sure I get all of that sealed up. Look at that color, how beautiful. Look, you could put this on the big toe as long as you've got a nice hard base for it to sit on. Okay, now she gonna go in the lamp. All right, that gets cured for 60 seconds. And you can see how this one's starting to dry. See there? And I'm a little bit heavy handed too. I'm gonna pop her up here. And then we're going to take these out of the lamp. Look at these, how beautiful. Oh, honey. Sold out of the rendezvous already. I only had like a dozen singles of that, but it is in the kit. Yeah, it's in the kit. 
I love rubber base too. All right, y'all, are you ready? Make sure you're looking. Don't don't you be watching the news because Miss Tracy getting ready to take these out of the lamp. Look here. These are starting to cool down. They got really hot inside of that lamp. Look at that color shift right here. Purple, pink, orange, mustard, yellow, green, teal, brown. Do you see that, honey? So this means when you're out and about, as those nails warm up, maybe you're out in the parking lot, or then you come into a cool environment, you're, you're constantly going to be seeing color changes like this. Isn't that pretty? Now, a lot of liquid crystal is only six colors. It's only a six color change. As a matter of fact, I have one that is a six color range and this has to be 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Most liquid crystal is a six color change. However, the pure form that we just got is a 12 color pure form and this one says, I believe this was, uh, I think it's on the website. This is between 60 degrees and 90 degrees Fahrenheit for that to start changing. Look here. Look at that, how gorgeous. That's why this one is so perfect for the uh, Northern Lights. So that's how you put the liquid crystal on and um, get it to wear. At this point, if you wanna put artwork over this, you can. If not, it needs a double top coat. So you could do matte or you could do um, shiny. Y'all with me on that? Everybody, mood ring nails. And that has a sticky layer in it, so yeah. Now here are five more that I've got ready to go. And they have been inside that lamp. Let's see if we can get those to cool down just a little bit because those are the ones we're gonna put our artwork on. Any questions before we move forward to the artwork session? And keep your little bag, store it in here because it's got uh, some good information on the back of there as well. Yeah, you understand? Cool. Yay! Look at these six, honey. These are ready to go with my stamping. Look at that copper. How beautiful. Now, these are pretty warm right now. If I wanted to cool these down just to show the color shift, I can hit them with a little bit of alcohol. And as that starts to cool, look at there. Says, could you repeat the steps, please? Could I repeat the steps? Uh, the steps are all written down on the website, love, underneath this product. It would take me probably 30 minutes to repeat all of those steps, but they're right there with wherever the uh, liquid crystal is at on the website. That's all you got to type in on Miss Tracy's site, liquid crystal. They are step-by-step -step on there and you can even print them off. Look here. We'll have it on YouTube for them to and we will also save this video on YouTube for you to go back and rewind and watch and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Here we go, GGO. Let's do a Northern Light nail. Y'all ready? I have a little bit of outshine on these nails because I'm getting ready to stamp over top of it. Now, the plate I use, I'm using for this is, um, I think everybody needs this plate. Like, I'm not a camper, but this is called Adventure Begins. And the, the winter, the li these little trees in here are worth their weight in gold at Christmas time. Look, and in the winter. So yes, if you're not a camper, get this just to get the uh, trees. All right, on this largest nail, we're going to put the silhouette of this howling doggy or coyote, I guess you could say. But we're going to do the northern light first. I'm going to show you how to get these kind of looks in your northern lights all right i love this plate i 
I also need a little bit of neon pigment powder, just for my northern lights. And you said she used that plate two days ago with the trees and they came out amazing. Oh, good. I'm gonna grab the blue and the green right there. And I think I saw, oh, Julia is watching. Julia Paul. Julia is the first one that ever told me about liquid crystal and taught me how to use it. So give a thumbs up to Julia. Thank you, Julia. Boo, we love you. All right, let's get us some white gel polish right here. Gosh, that's been a long time ago too, Julia. We're getting old. Real old, honey. <clears throat> you can use uh, a white gel polish as long as it's highly pigmented, you guys. I prefer that you use a white liner, um, a liner gel that's really strong in pigments. And I'm going to grab this uh, nine millimeter brush. Somebody said she's late. Yes, you have to choose your uh, top coat, Marilyn. That's a choice when you choose the bundle. I'm going to put just a little bit of, uh, of my white gel paint right here, you guys. Now, the way I like to do, oh, well, let me come back to that. Let's get our stamping on here first, and then we will do our Northern Lights. We're going to get Coyote Man. He right here, it's all one piece together. So you don't have to try to size anything up with that. Now, what I did on this one is I took a little sponge. Look, we're working on a super dark background. So if we stamp black stamping polish on here, it's not gonna pop as much as if we give it uh, just something to sit underneath a little bit there. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that white gel paint Y'all have seen me do this tons of times before. And where we're going to stamp Coyote Man here, let's just give it a little bit of fogginess in the background. Not too, too much because we still want to watch that change color. But just about like that. And now let's cure that. All right, boo. We gotta have some paper towels. I don't like getting stamping polish everywhere. And let's just wipe out Coyote Man here, or Wolf Man, or whatever it is you call him. Right there. Now tonight's kit comes with a black stamping polish. Um, the kit is getting the five milliliter size stamping polishes. I have a stamper ready to go. This is the, I think it's called the Stardust Stamper on our website. Says, do you use the outshine before you stamp? Yes, if you have trouble um, transferring your image, you always want to put outshine down first. I'm not going to go through that step because I do, um, I've shown y'all that so many times. So yeah, you would want to do that. All right, black stamping polish. Let's get a stamping scraper. Here we go, boo. Let's ink him up. Now on an image like this that is pretty bold, you don't want to scrape it too hard or you'll scrape all the ink out of there. You might have to scrape him a couple of times. Just, oh no, that's good, that's good, because I can fill in any place that I feel like I need to. And we're going to position this little guy about right there. Oh, 
look what a nice transfer we got. Just a tiny bit right there. I'm going to fill in with some of this black stamping polish. And the way I do that, just put your dot down anywhere. And pick that up. And pop that into that one little area that, that did not fill in like you wanted to. Okay, and we'll come back to him. You could leave it just like this. Because remember, this thing will turn all kind of colors on us. So we're going to set this aside and let it dry. And let's move on with all of our stamping while we're stamping. And then we'll put our uh, Northern Lights on. Look, I told y'all this is a little bit longer class. So get you Coca-Cola, honey. All right, this little tree ridge line up here, the reason uh, that we put three stamping polishes in the kit tonight is you needed a light, a medium, and a dark. But the, even the lightest one, we didn't want it to be too, too light. So now I'm gonna take another one of these nails and I'm just gonna ink up this little ridge line of trees here. Let me make sure my stamper is clean. And I'm gonna use the lightest color. This, this is vintage denim. You don't need the whole line. You'll just be wasting your stamping polish. And we need to scrape this way. I forgot to tell you that. Because again, these trees are a uh, nice and solid form. There we go. Let's pick up these trees. Oh yeah. Vintage denim is the color of this. We take this nail and we kind of move it up a little bit because we got to get three rows of trees going in here. Okay, there's the first one. And let me just match it up over here on this side. Perfect. Y'all with me there? All right, we're gonna clean that out in that same exact spot we're gonna ink up in the Midnight Rendezvous. Now you don't have to use this exact color. Any shade of navy I think would work perfect. You get an idea though, we're gonna go from lightest to darkest. And you only need a tiny bit of these stamping polishes. If you've never used these before, they are so pigmented, you don't need very much of them, do you? For those of y'all that have used them, you can testify to that, can't you, honey? Now this one, you set this down just a little bit lower. I know this is hard for you to see in camera. Let me get this lined up. You see what I did there? Look. I stamped it right over top of that one, that little ridge line of trees. Yeah, Nancy's used them before. And they dry super quick. It's not like you gotta sit here and wait for these things to dry. I wish my laundry dried that fast, honey. All right, and then the last one, we're gonna ink in the exact same spot with our uh, black. I tend to use too much ink. I, I know it, or polish. I don't need that much. And now we pick up the black ones. And let me scrape that again. You see these right in here? That right there is a piece of fuzz sitting in my plate. And we're not finna have that. And I don't have nothing on that's got fuzz in it either. I did not wear a sweater just for that reason. It's probably off my little wipey here. So let's make sure. Because I want my trees to be perfect. Actually, I like doing laundry. I don't mind it at all. Okay. 
Now we got it, boo. Now we got it. There's the cutest little sleeping bag on this plate too. Slide you over. And now this set, we're gonna move down low enough till it hangs off the free edge of the nail. Look at there, how adorable. And there is our stamp trees. Isn't that cute? All right, let's put him aside. Let's see, we need this on one more. So let's stamp these trees on one more. I guess we don't have to. I don't have to do a duplicate, but I kind of need to because I want to show you a couple of holiday designs with this. So real quick, without me sitting here and talking a lot, let's repeat those steps. And one more nail. Let's clean our plate. Look, when you get in assembly line form, honey, you can rock and roll with this. This is an easy plate to use. Some plates that are really finely etched, sometimes the stamp and polish wants to dry in those plates before you have a chance to pick it up. And this one is just super easy to work with. I love it. It even has a little campfire and s'mores on this plate. It's so cute. All right, black. Oh, let's clean this out. Hold on. And black. Oh, nice. Look at that. And again, this last layer of trees you put on, you want it to hang all the way off the free edge of the nail. So there we have two of those, and that's all the stamping that I did. The rest is hand painting. Any questions on the stamping? I'm gonna clean this plate and my nail, and I will pop these back under the camera so you can see it here. There we go. Now look, we don't wanna start putting Northern Lights on here without sealing up our uh, artwork. No, 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 honey, don't you do that because if you make a boo-boo on the Northern Light section, then you will be in trouble. So what I like to do is seal these up with a matte top coat and then I will gloss them up at the end because I'm gonna be doing some hand painting and I like to hand paint over a matte top coat. It's just my preference. Just my preference. But you want it to be a super thin layer. Very, very thin. Piece of glitter in there. And now seal up your stamping polish. That way, if you make a boo-boo, you won't leave, lose all this pretty background you've just painted or that you just stamped. Look, you're not doing builder layers as you go, honey. These are all really, really thin layers. Let's seal up Wolfman Jack here. And this only helps the uh, mood ring paint wear longer because at this point it's under uh, two or three layers of gel. Yes? Y'all with me? You're quiet. Any questions? And one more. I'm going to seal this one up. And then we will cure these and I'll show you how to make the Northern Lights. Antis was our mess 
mesmerized and holding their breath. When you can see it in your head, you know you got to sit down and make it, you know? Um, and yours don't have to look exactly like mine. You might have a different uh, stamping plate that has completely different little uh, trees on it. But this just kind of looked like that Northern Lights ridge line, if you know what I mean. All right, let's put that in the lamp and get these cured. And while we're at it, let's bring our ice pack back in and we're gonna cool these babies down immediately. And those will start to turn. You know, the longest thing about doing these nails is the dry time. You want to make sure that you're allowing enough time for these to dry if you're putting them on human hands. If you're doing them on the full cover nails like I'm doing, um, and you want to wear them as press-on nails, you have the option of either gluing it on or we have a temporary nail adhesive. Like, I wouldn't dare glue these on. Honey, this is too much work to glue it on. We have a temporary nail adhesive that wears between 24 hours and five days uh, in our store. And that would actually be perfect because you could get several wears out of these nails. Look at that kind of burgundy chocolate these are turning because they're getting really cold here. I'm going to set that to the side and let that keep turning colors. Oh, child, look here. All right, we're ready for northern lights. We're going to keep this matte top coat open. Look, a lot of people do northern lights different ways. I, I actually did it two different ways on this nails just to see which one I would like the best. So I'm going to show you both ways, okay? First one is take your white gel paint. And um, when you're painting Northern Lights, you guys, you kind of have to get this sort of flow going. So this one, I just want to go, oh, maybe this direction. Boing. And I got something in my brush, I can tell. You know how when she don't want to be flexible with you no more? She don't want to be bendy. There we go. There we go, boo. So this would be kind of the first way that I may paint these. Let's see here. Let me go. And you know what? I have some matte top coat that did not cure on the side of there. I don't want to touch that just yet. Let me get a little um, wipey here. That nail was on the end and apparently did not go all the way in the lamp. See right there? We don't want to mess this up, honey. Let's get that cured before we put these northern lights on. And let me just smooth that out where I touched it. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. Let's make sure that's cured. All right, good deal. So for this one, because there's nothing really in the background, we're going to take our white gel paint. And I'm just going to kind of lay this down sort of like mountains would be. And maybe this one, I will go this way. Oh, I don't know. Right in there. And let's make this take a little swervy turn right over here. All right. Now you take the brush in your matte top coat bottle and you swirl all of that gel off of there. So it's just kind of dry. And you drag 
and then you wipe. You don't want to pull that back on there, so wipe. Drag, wipe. Y'all see what's happening? It's making the northern lights for you. Wipe. And that is one way to get a really cool northern light. Now we're not done. We're not done, but we're gonna go ahead and cure that much. We're gonna go back and put our detail in that. Let me get that under the lamp. The other way, let's make sure she cured, yes, that I like to do these. And I'll put this back on here like I had it. Let's get this little swirly in here. Sarah said her mind is officially blown. It is. You have to pop some glue over it. It's okay, boo. All right, so you pop that down. I like to use my zero zero brush on this. I got black in it. Let me take care of that. We put a touch of matte top coat right there on our plate. We just kind of moisten your brush in that matte top coat. You don't want much on there. And you grab, this is my preferred way of putting them on. You grab and you pull. Grab and pull, grab and pull, grab and pull, grab and pull. And I probably need a little bit more paint on that one side, but I'll go right up into here. I've sort of flattened my brush out. See there? Pull down, pull down, pull down. They are very detail oriented. If you're gonna make these into press on nails, you need to charge accordingly. I would not do a set of these nails for under a hundred dollars. Personally, I wouldn't. Cause child, these will work your nerve. But they are so pretty. This is one press on nail you can't go to Walgreens and get or Ulta Beauty or any of those. Okay, when your brush feels dry, moisten it back up in that top coat again and just keep pulling right along. This is my preferred way of doing my Northern Lights. It's like this. And just pull down slightly. Any questions? Now we're gonna cure that. And this one that we kind of ran our matte top coat brush over, now all we have to do is define. We have to go back and, and make just some little, kind of like this in there. It puts that little hard edge back onto it. See there? It's easy. It's easy if you know the steps to do. But look, you got a you got a long time to practice between now and Christmas, honey. Are you pulling white or top coat on your preferred method? On um, my both. You moisten your brush with the uh, matte top coat so it will grab that white polish and pull it down. Let me cure that. Lisa says, I love the fact that you keep little boo-boos in and show us how to correct them. Child, I'm only human. I make boo-boos all the time, honey. Now, here's how your northern lights get pretty. is because we painted that, and that white gel polish is kind of sticky. You take your two neon pigments. You take a little blue. Not much. These things are strong, honey. And you put your little blue. It's going to stick to just the white. Oh, 
it says they're supposed to have ideal conditions this week to see them. <gasps> I would love to see them. And you just keep mixing these two little babies right over top of that. I just work it into that gel polish there. Rub it in, rub it in. Did you say neon pigments? Neon pigments. Yes, these are in our store. We've had these all summer. Um, they are, they're just called neon pigments. You get a set of 12. All right, so this one is done besides her top coat. Now you could. You could take the end of your brush the end of these brushes make the tiniest little dotting tools ever and put you a few little stardust lights in there oh honey let's cure that and then I'll top coat it and while that one's in the lamp let's put some color on our these little northern lights. Look, we're not seeing the mood color in the background right now because these nails are hot where they're in the lamp. But once we put the top coat on there and we start cooling these down, that top coat cools it down, you'll be able to see it. And let's do some stardust. Mmm, that's beautiful. There's a little piece of glitter right there. I'm going to make that into a star, honey. In we go. All right, we got a nail that's finished besides the top coat. Here we go, GGO. Now, my preferred uh, top coat is this right here, the Scotty Nails, because it is a um, beefy viscosity top coat. That means it's not thin. Child, this color's already changing. Y'all stick with Miss Tracy. I, I'll, <laughs> I'll have you putting everything but the kitchen sink on your nails, honey. And this product is approved for nail art. I don't want you to think I just went somewhere and found this. It's on their website. It is approved for nail art. All right, let's pop that in the lamp because she is going to be some kind of beautiful when that comes out. And let's go ahead and get our top coat on this one. They're incredibly done. Um, we ordered, look, I ordered extra liquid crystal just so we could have that um, on hand because you might have all the stuff on hand you could do this with. You just don't have any mood ring paint. And you need to play with this. You, you might as well accept the fact, even though this little jar is pricey, that you're going to have to practice some with it before you're able to work with it. It's a new medium. Okay? And practice makes permanent. Practice don't make perfect, honey. I always told my music, music students, you practiced it wrong, you've learned it wrong. Practice makes permanent. And here is that little lady coming out of the lamp. She's very warm, very warm. We'll let that start to cool down. There she goes, look. Pink, purple. That is beautiful. It's exquisite. And 
and here is that one. And if you really want to cool it down fast, you can hit it with just a little, look at that color. Oh my gosh, look at that. Rebecca says she can hear the wolf howl. If you really want to cool it down fast, just give it a little bit of alcohol. And that starts cooling that. Look over here. If that's not a northern light, I don't know what is. I can't wait to see what y'all do with this. This is, it's just going to be fabulous. Now, look, I know this is really not Christmassy, but it is wintry. So look at your northern lights now when all that starts changing behind there. They just kind of all blend in with that surface. So the other nail I want to show you with this, I showed you how to make the trees last week. Would y'all like to see the snowflake? This is hand painted, or I can show you the trees, either or. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I got enough nails. I can show you both if you would like to see both. Honey, look at this thing. Look at that. Amazing. New Year's wintry anything. Okay. So this one, all this needs is just really a top coat on that one. Let me seal that up real fast. Sandra, Harvey says they're getting northern lights now. They are stunning. Ooh, I would love to see a picture. Most are saying both. Both are saying, okay, both. All right, well, if you can hang with me, fine. If you can't, that's okay too, boo. We're gonna pop that in the lamp. All right, so anytime we do work like this, now these are super cold because I've had these laying on uh, this ice pack over here. Let's warm these up and pop these things in that lamp. It's surprisingly, LED lamps have quite a bit of heat that comes off of it, and that will be enough just to change the color. Let me cover up my pigments. or else I spill them. Look, I challenged myself to do some winter nails with these summer pigments, and I think this really kind of hit the nail on the head, so to speak. Let's get a clean surface. Look how that warmed up. Lisa said this liquid crystal could make some fab Halloween bonfire night. Oh, it would make some fabulous, um, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Frankenstein nails. You could do, uh, last year, was it last year or year before, I painted a jack-o'-lantern face, and inside of the jack-o'-lantern eyes and mouth, I put this liquid crystal. So his eyes and mouth constantly change color. All right, this is getting the shiny top coat. I thought I was putting a shiny top coat on it, honey, and I put a, a matte top coat on it. Sorry about that. But look at that color. Amazing. You could use it for sugar skulls. Yeah, you're right, anything. But that looks like Northern Lights just like it is. Okay, GGO, let's paint uh, Snowflake. Now, I already have a little bit of outshine on here because I was going to stamp over some of these. Uh, I'm going to put my final top coat on here. So let's get our gaudy top coat. I don't like to, to use outshine as my final top coat when I'm sugaring. So a little bit of a top coat. And then we'll do uh, this snowflake first. She easy. She's very easy. Do y'all remember Snow Sugar from last week? Our new glitter called Snow Sugar? This uses that. Let's pop that in the lamp and we might as well go ahead and do this one because we're going to do um, the trees on one of these as well for you. Jill says you can come see her and see the northern lights. I can. I do your nails while I'm there for room and board, honey. <laughs> I give you free nails for a free place to stay. Hey. 
Okay, let's load up our palette. We're out of paint. We need a little white and a little black. And I'm using our Ladybug liners. Neo black. Little white. I can't wait to see what y'all make with these. I know it's gonna be good. Now, let's grab us another brush because we need 20 mm brush. She looks like this. She's a little bit longer striper. Hold on. Joy said you could travel the world with that deal. <laughs> okay, where am I going first? says she promises she won't let the coyotes get you. It's just mesmerizing when it starts to uh, turn color. Now, Snow Sugar looks like this, you guys. It was that white glitter that looks like powder. And you got to have Snow Sugar for both of these things I'm going to show you. Let's do our snowflake first. You need a dotting tool. If you don't have a dotting tool, you can use the end of your paintbrush. Honey, I don't know if I can paint on this or not. She just showing off. She thinks she has all that in a bag of chips now. Jesus, take the nail file. Here we go, GGO. We're going to do a rather large size dot in the middle. This snowflake is made up of dots. Dot one two, and three, and you let them get smaller as you go. And then that's still dot one, two, and three. Dot one, two, and three. Still dot one, two, and three. So now we've made a cross shape. Now we go diagonal, same thing, only I put my little diagonal dots closer together. We're going to give this snowflake a name. Her name Dottie. <laughs> you with me? Take a screenshot right here if you need to. You take your long 20 mm striper and you're going to pull from the middle to the end. Wipe off. Always pull towards you. Hold on, got a little stray hair. And pull out. Once you get control over your brush, you can pretty much pull in any direction. When you first start doing this, it's easier to make that stroke towards you. And super, do y'all see how thin I'm making that line? Honey! Don't you have no big lines in your uh in your snowflakes? Snowflakes are delicate. Oh child. So now we sugar it. We take glitter body. And we do that thing right there. And get that in the lamp. You could stop right there, but I put a few little fancies in my snowflake. Sure you did, Miss Tracy. Yeah, and I'll show you how I did the fancies. Let's get our glitter back in here. Do you have a glitter buddy tray? They're very handy. Everything we're using is in our store tonight. Now, no wastage of glitters. That needs to go, I would say, about uh, 45 seconds in the lamp. And here we go. Use a stiff brush and remove all of that extra glitters. Now, the next thing I added 
is I took the, the end of my brush right here and I made three little itty bitty dots. This makes just a teeny tiny daughter. One, two, and three. And then I pulled those little dots right down into the middle with the teeniest, tiniest lines ever. Look at that. I did that in between. One, two, and three. Every place you have a space, you got to sneak these little girls in here. And when you think you can't fit one, you got to fit it anyway. I'm using nine millimeter brush. And then pull in that line. You do not want to have lots of caffeine in your system when you're doing this, honey. A snowflake will look like this. <laughs> She's going to be a snowflake with anxiety. The snowflake going to need some Xanax, honey. Sam says lacy flaky. Mm-hmm. Look, this first portion of the snowflake I've already glittered. You could build a hundred different ways off of that. And I have. I've done all kinds of stuff in between uh, that kind of the bones of that snowflake. Make it yours. You know, they're not going to know what mine look like. Now, this one's going to be tight. I'm going to be honest with you. There we go, GGO. Now we sugar again. Because I want those last do lollies I put in, I want those sugared too. Cure for 60 this time. Let's just do a few extra seconds for good measure. All right, boo. That's it. That's all you do for your snowflake. You do not top coat a sugared snowflake. She gonna be ugly if you put a top coat on her, honey. Don't you do it. She's supposed to be sugared for a reason, right? And then this little lady who was watching um, Wednesday night when I showed you how to do these trees. Anybody? Who watching? Who was watching? Let's go back in our sponge. Aren't they gorgeous? All right, here she comes. You can get into it. You just don't want to lightly tap that off. You want to get rid of all of these extra glitters. They're not going nowhere. They are fused on there, honey. And you can be rough with it. You're not seeing the twinkle like I'm seeing off the glitter because I have lots of uh, studio lights going here. But y'all are getting the idea, right? Look at how pretty. It's gorgeous and it's changing color at the same time. 
You can wash your hands with this. You can shower with that. It will not hurt a thing. And it's a really nice combination uh, with the other nails that we've done. What color is the twinkle? It's called Snow Sugar. It's uh, clear. It looks white in the jar. Let me see if I can kill a light here and you'll be, there you go. It's got like a little blue, green, and purple uh, halo to it. Snow Sugar. It's a 10 gram jar. Y'all see me use that a lot. Okay, boo, let's get our little winter trees on here. I'm gonna use nine millimeter brush. Oh, honey. <laughs> and we're gonna do two triangles. Everybody knows what a triangle is. Now, the gel paint I'm using is a uh, no wipe, so I don't have to put a top coat over this. But let's widen this out. Let's make this a big old fluffy tree. You don't even have to be careful where your triangle ends. You can just leave it kind of rugged looking like that. And then we're gonna do a little baby one back here. Sometimes it helps if you put a straight line and then you make that into a TP. That helps your uh, symmetry. And then you just color it in. I'm gonna make her a little bit taller, which means just bring it down a tiny bit. And there's the skeleton for giant trees. Let me turn the light back up so you can see now. All right, let's cure that. We're getting some really pretty color throws off here. Um, if you are, while well, that's in the lamp curing, because that's got to go for 60 seconds. If you're into painting like um, pretty scroll work or anything like that, you could always do just a tiny bit of that and sugar it to uh, frame out the top of this. Maybe right in here. Jill says all of your artwork is phenomenal, but I think these are one of my favorite I've ever watched you do. Girl, I had so much fun doing these. Well, I finished these a couple of weeks ago and I just, I had to just look at them for a little while. You said they remind her of home. Thank you so very much. Aww. Blessing for all you do. You're a great inspiration. You're so welcome, Jill. We are happy to do it. This kind of looks like a little bit of wind movement, doesn't it? Yes, it do, honey. Woo, child! Oh, and that's all it needs. And now we will sugar that with snow sugar. Everybody needs a tub of snow sugar. Make sure it's in that wet gel and go into the lamp. All right. So now these little, uh, our little black tree portion is done here. And because that's no wipe, um, that gel isn't sticky at all. So let's make the snow drift on the tree. I showed you how to do this Wednesday night, but we'll show again. All right. She needs that nail brush, that art brush. This one I'm using is the 9mm. I use this more than any. Switch sides, press, and lift up. Switch, up press, and lift. <laughs> Look, my poor husband has to go home with me, honey. He's laughing, too. I don't know what he's laughing about. Put 
scroll past the key. Work class is the next one on her list to do. Hey, I got two scroll work classes on the uh, website. I'm getting ready to reformulate those a little bit. Um, just because, like anything, scroll work updates and, you know, it kind of, it, it morphs as it goes along. So I am getting ready to film a brand new scroll work. Look at that, how pretty. Pole Keith nothing, honey. It ain't nothing to pull Keith over. Uh-uh. He says he gets treated good. He does, too. Now we're doing the same thing over here. This just takes that little triangle and makes it into these, like, drifted uh, branches. It totally makes it look like a tritmus tree, honey. Now, look, I do a fancy tree, but I didn't want to get into that with, with as fancy as these nails are. No, you can get by with these with these kind of little trees. Let's just put some more drifts up in here. Oh, let's wiggle in one right here. Now, here is, is the beautiful part. We're going to make a really wide line right here, and we're going to drift this snow down this way. And this one, we're going to have come this way right into here. Oh, look. And she needs one more because that little tree looked like she just kind of hanging out. We'll go right up in here and sort of join that together. And just because I can. Look, this, this is my nail art. Don't you be telling me what to do. Watch, watch. We'll put the little North Star right up in here. The star where baby Jesus was at. says you make it all look so easy. Love it. Okay. Now let's sugar. Sugar, sugar. That's pretty like this. Don't get me wrong, but this takes it to like just a new level. And be generous. Make sure it gets all in that wet paint. And cure for 60 now. And while that's curing, we're going to save all of our sugar and put it right back in here. This glitter, buddy, will change your life. I'm not about to throw that sugar away. Look, we all get ruffled about dip powder and all that kind of stuff. It, you know where that has gone wrong is salons letting people walk in and sit down and never washing their hands or sanitizing their hands. That's how your product gets contaminated. It is law in the United States of America, honey, in all 50 states, that we are to fully sanitize both our hands and the client's hand before we ever start any work. If we were truly contaminating everything, even your cuticle oil bottle brush would be contaminated. It's a simple fix to that. Simply disinfect the hand, sanitize the hand, and you're good to go, boo. All right. Oh, I didn't cure her. Look, I was talking. Oh, no. Jesus, that the nail file. Lord. Look, I'm not letting her. This nail ain't getting one on over on me. I still got some paint on this dish, honey. That's what you get when you're not paying attention and don't turn the lamp on. 
Here I'm preaching about clean hands, right? I got you, boo. Don't worry, honey. Don't you worry. But Tracy got you. I'd have messed up my top coat underneath, too, because I had to put some acetone on it. I'm going to fix that, too. Don't you worry. You know acetone makes the top coat go cloudy. Did you know that? See right there? Don't ever clean your top coats with acetone. I got you, boo. It's okay, honey. We all have bad day, honey. You're still beautiful. And don't you let nobody tell you otherwise. Cindy said, I'm going to wash your human. There. Honey, if you want to see if I'm really human, you come to my house and come to my kitchen. Now, I can flat wash me up some dishes. Mm. But when I get to slinging this food, I just lose all of yeah, we not even going to go there. I lose all my humanness. <laughs> now, I want to be sure I turn this lamp on. Yes, I did. Lord, give me a heart attack. Here we go, boo. I can take you to the Mexican restaurant, though. I know where all the good eating places is in my town. Air one of them. <laughs> Look, my cooking's so bad, the fly's done chipped in and bought me a screen door, honey. <laughs> they said, Miss Tracy, we can't take it no more. You shortening our life. You close that door, boo. And look, when, you're, when your hands are really warm, this mood paint is going to be this deep indigo purplish. But as she's sitting here and cooling down and changing color, it's just absolutely beautiful. Hold on, we're going to put all these close together. We do have a lot of good places to eat here. And look, honey, people support my business. I'm a small business. We wouldn't be here without y'all. I got to support all these restaurants in town because I don't want them to close. Honey. <laughs> yes, Lord. We hear you, Jesus. All right, let's put this scroll work back on here, and then we'll have a finished set. Can I paint it the same way I had it on? No, I ain't that superhuman, but I will try to get it close, boo. I try to get it close. We will have this downloaded to the YouTube channel tonight. Oh, boo, look. So you can, if you're watching on YouTube, instead of going back and trying to find it on a Facebook Live, it, everything is organized over on the YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is very simple, Tracy Vinson, V-I-N-S-O-N. Uh, so it, it just makes it easier for you to watch it over there. Plus it's a little bit clearer, I think, when we, uh, upload it I think that's the way I had that on there I don't know but I believe it was it might be a tad different I'm sure somebody let me know if it is <laughs> This is beautiful. Okay, let's sugar this and we're about done. This is the longest class I've had in forever. I don't like to take y'all this long, but y'all have hung in here with me, so kudos. Kudos. Besides that, my sweet hubby brought me dinner before class. We normally don't eat dinner until after class on Sunday and Wednesday. 
and we knew we'd have to stay and do the upload too. So he brought me dinner about five o'clock. So I'm good to go, boo. The lamp on? Oh, yes, I did turn it on, boo. I got you, honey. Look at these beautiful colors they're changing into here. Now, obviously, mine are sitting under some hot uh, studio lights for certain. All these are just gorgeous. You can put your finger on it. Look, it starts changing immediately. We can take this off of here and put it this way and give her some body heat. And it starts changing. Like you can, it just changes. Look here, honey. Looks like a rainbow. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. So depending on how hot or cold uh, your, your hands are is how that's going to change. All right. Oh, yes, she's done. And this needs to be up here because it's the same size. So let me get these in order. And then we're gonna give all of these a little burst of LED light and then bring them out so we can watch them change together. Now this is my original set I did. Um, let's cool that down with some alcohol. And these ones, on purpose, I did with the six color changing. This was done with this, uh, liquid, um, the liquid crystal that only has six colors in it. And you can tell a huge difference because you're not getting that pink and that purple. You get blue, dark blue, medium blue, green, a light green, an orangey brown color is what you get on that. Okay, this one is done with the 12 color and I want you to see the difference in the two. Let me back off so I can get both of them in frame. Let me cool these down. Let's give these a little shot of alcohol to start cooling it. These ones get a pink and purple in these that the that the six color change doesn't have. And look at this. Can you tell the difference in the vibrancy? Yeah. Look, thank y'all for being here tonight and hanging with us. We greatly appreciate it. Look at this fire. It looks like something's on fire back in there, right? Uh, the instructions to using liquid crystal are on the website under liquid crystal. As a matter of fact, we get a lot of messages that say, hey, Miss Trace, how long do I cure this for? Or what do I do with this? Or how do I use this? If you will go check the website, I guarantee you it might, well, most likely will be there with the product. We went to the nth degree to give you some detailed um um, instructions for this on the website. Okay. You're welcome. Talk to y'all later. Have a great week. Bye-bye.